Hello and welcome to the Christadelphian Daily Bible Readings for September the 19th. Our first reading is from the first book of Chronicles, chapter 2. These are the sons of Israel. Reuben, Simeon, Levi and Judah, Issachar and Zebulun, Dan, Joseph and Benjamin, Naphtali, Gad and Asher. The sons of Judah, Ur and Onan and Shelah which three were born unto him of the daughter of Shua the Canaanitess. And Ur, the firstborn of Judah, was evil in the sight of the Lord, and he slew him. And Tamar, his daughter-in-law, bare him Phares and Zerah. All the sons of Judah were five. The sons of Phares, Hezron and Hamul. And the sons of Zerah, Zimri and Ethan and Heman and Calcol and Dara, five of them in all. And the sons of Kami, Achan, the troubler of Israel who transgressed in the things accursed. And the sons of Ethan, Azariah. The sons also of Hezron that were born unto him, Jeramiel, and Ram, and Chelubai. And Ram begat Aminadab, and Aminadab begat Narshon, prince of the children of Judah. And Narshon begat Salmon, and Salmon begat Boaz, and Boaz begat Obed, and Obed begat Jesse. And Jesse begat his firstborn Eliab, and Abinadab the second, Shema the third, Nethaneel the fourth, Radii the fifth, Ozem the sixth, David the seventh, whose sisters were Zeruiah and Abigail, and the sons of Zeruiah, Abishai and Joab and Asahel, three. And Abigail bare Amasa, and the father of Amasa was Jetha the Ishmaelite. And Caleb the son of Hezron begat children of Azubar his wife, and of Jerioth. Her sons are these, Jesha and Shobab and Ardon. And when Azubar was dead, Caleb took unto him Ephrath, which bare him her. And her begat Uri, and Uri begat Bezaleel. And afterward Hezron went in to the daughter of Maker, the father of Gilead, whom he married when he was threescore years old, and she bare him Segub. And Segub begat Jair, who had three and twenty cities in the land of Gilead. And he took Gesher and Aram with the towns of Jair from them, with Kenath, and the towns thereof, even three score cities. All these belonged to the sons of Maker, the father of Gilead. And after that, Hezron was dead in Caleb Ephrata. Then Abiah, Hezron's wife, bare him Asher, the father of Tekoa. And the sons of Jeramiel, the firstborn of Hezron, were Ram, the firstborn, and Buna, and Oren, and Ozem, and Ahijah. Jeramiel had also another wife, whose name was Atara. She was the mother of Onam. And the sons of Ram, the firstborn of Jeremiel, were Maaz and Jamin and Eker. And the sons of Onam were Shammai and Jada. And the sons of Shammai, Nadab and Abishur. And the name of the wife of Abishur was Abihail, and she bare him Arban and Molid. And the sons of Nadab, Seled and Appiam. But Seled died without children. And the sons of Appiam, Ishi. And the sons of Ishi, Shishan. And the children of Shishan, Arlai, and the sons of Jada, the brother of Shammai, Jetha and Jonathan. And Jetha died without children. And the sons of Jonathan, Peleth and Zaza. These were the sons of Jeramiel. Now Shishan had no sons but daughters. And Shishan had a servant, an Egyptian, whose name was Jaha. And Shishan gave his daughter to Jaha his servant to wife, and she bare him Atiai. And Atiai begat Nathan, and Nathan begat Zabad, and Zabad begot Ephlal, and Ephlal begat Obed. And Obed begat Jehu, and Jehu begat Azariah, and Azariah begat Helez, and Helez begat Eliasa, and Eliasa begat Sisamai, and Sisamai begat Shalom, and Shalom begat Jechemiah, and Jechemiah begat Elishama. Now the sons of Caleb, the brother of Jeramiel, were Misha his firstborn, which was the father of Ziph, and the sons of Marashah, the father of Hebron. And the sons of Hebron, Korah, and Tapua, and Rechem, and Shema. And Shema begat Raham, the father of Jorkoam, and Rechem begat Shammai. And the son of Shammai was Maon, and Maon was the father of Beth Zer. And Ephah, Caleb's concubine, bare Haran, and Moza, and Gazez, and Haran begat Gazez. And the sons of Jardiai, Regem and Jotham, and Gisham, and Pilet, and Ephah, and Sheath. 
Mayaka, Caleb's concubine, bare Sheba and Terhana. She bare also Sheaf, the father of Madmana, Shiva, the father of Machbinah, and the father of Gibeah. And the daughter of Caleb was Aksar. These were the sons of Caleb, the son of Hur, the firstborn of Ephrata, Shobal, the father of Kiriath Yerim, Salma, the father of Bethlehem, Haref, the father of Beth Geda. And Shobal, the father of Kirjath Yerim, has sons, Haroah, and half of the Manahathites. And the families of Kiriath Yerim, the Ithrites, and the Puhites, and the Shumathites, and the Mishriites, of them came the Zariathites, and the Eshtorites. The sons of Salmon, Bethlehem, and the Nantophathites, Ataroth, the house of Joab, and half of the Manahathites, the Zorites. And the families of the scribes which dwelt at Jabez, the Tirathites, the Shimeathites, and Succothites. These are the Kenites that came of Hemath, the father of the house of Rechab. Our second reading is Ezekiel chapter 15. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is the vine tree more than any tree, or than a branch which is among the trees of the forest? Shall wood be taken thereof to do any work, or will men take a pin of it to hang any vessel thereon? Behold, it is cast into the fire for fuel. The fire devoureth both the ends of it, and the midst of it is burned. Is it meat for any work? Behold, when it was whole, it was meat for no work. How much less shall it be meat yet for any work, when the fire hath devoured it, and it is burned? Therefore thus saith the Lord God, As the vine tree among the trees of the forest, which I have given to the fire for fuel, so will I give the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And I will set my face against them. They shall go out from one fire, and another fire shall devour them. And ye shall know that I am the Lord, when I set my face against them. And I will make the land desolate, because they have committed a trespass, saith the Lord God. Our third reading is the Gospel of Luke, chapter 11. And it came to pass, that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples. And he said unto them, When ye pray, say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in heaven, so in earth. Give us day by day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we also forgive every one that is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And he said unto them, Which of you shall have a friend, and shall go unto him at midnight, and say unto him, Friend, lend me three loaves, for a friend of mine in his journey is come to me, and I have nothing to set before him. And he from within shall answer and say, Trouble me not, the door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give thee. I say unto you, though he will not rise and give him, because he is his friend, yet because of his importunity he will rise and give him as many as he needeth. And I say unto you, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. If a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? Or if he shall ask an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? And he was casting out a devil, and it was dumb. And it came to pass, when the devil was gone out, the dumb spake, and the people wandered. But some of them said, He casteth out devils through Beelzebub, the chief of the devils. And others, tempting him, sought of him a sign from heaven. But he, knowing their thoughts, said unto them, 
Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and a house divided against a house falleth. If Satan also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? Because ye say that I cast out devils through Beelzebub. And if I by Beelzebub cast out devils, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore shall they be your judges. But if I with the finger of God cast out devils, no doubt the kingdom of God is come upon you. When a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, he taketh from him all the armour wherein he trusted, and divideth his spoils. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest, and finding none, he saith, I will return unto my house whence I came out. And when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh to him seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there, and the last state of that man is worse than the first. And it came to pass, as he spake these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice, and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bare thee, and the paps which thou hast sucked. But he said, Yea, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God, and keep it. And when the people were gathered thick together, he began to say, This is an evil generation. They seek a sign, and there shall no sign be given it, but the sign of Jonas the prophet. For as Jonas was a sign unto the Ninevites, so shall also the Son of Man be to this generation. The Queen of the South shall rise up in the judgment with the men of this generation, and condemn them. For she came from the utmost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and behold, a greater than Solomon is here. The men of Nineveh shall rise up in the judgment with this generation, and shall condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Jonas, and behold, a greater than Jonas is here. No man, when he hath lighted a candle, putteth it in a secret place, neither under a bushel, but on a candlestick, that they which come in may see the light. The light of the body is the eye. Therefore when thine eye is single, thy whole body also is full of light. But when thine eye is evil, thy body also is full of darkness. Take heed, therefore, that the light which is in thee be not darkness. If thy whole body, therefore, be full of light, having no part dark, the whole shall be full of light, as when the bright shining of a candle doth give thee light. And as he spake, a certain Pharisee besought him to dine with him, and he went in and sat down to meet. And when the Pharisee saw it, he marvelled that he had not first washed before dinner. And the Lord said unto him, Now do ye Pharisees make clean the outside of the cup and the platter, but your inward part is full of ravening and wickedness. Ye fools, did not he that made that which is without make that which is within also? But rather, give alms of such things as ye have, and behold, all things are clean unto you. But woe unto you, Pharisees, for ye tithe mint and rue and all manner of herbs, and pass over judgment and the love of God. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Woe unto you, Pharisees! For ye love the uppermost seats in the synagogues and greetings in the markets. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye are as graves which appear not, and the men that walk over them are not aware of them. Then answered one of the lawyers, and said unto him, Master, thus saying, thou reproachest us also. And he said, Woe unto you also, ye lawyers! For ye laid men with burdens grievous to be borne, and ye yourselves touch not the burdens with one of your fingers. Woe unto you! For ye build the sepulchres of the prophets, and your fathers killed them. Truly ye bear witness that ye allow the deeds of your fathers, 
for they indeed killed them, and ye build their sepulchres. Therefore also said the wisdom of God, I will send them prophets and apostles, and some of them they shall slay and persecute, that the blood of all the prophets, which was shed from the foundation of the world, may be required of this generation. From the blood of Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, which perished between the altar and the temple, Verily I say unto you, it shall be required of this generation. Woe unto you, lawyers, for ye have taken away the key of knowledge. Ye entered not in yourselves, and them that were entering in ye hindered. And as he said these things unto them, the scribes and the Pharisees began to urge him vehemently, and to provoke him to speak of many things, laying wait for him and seeking to catch something out of his mouth that they might accuse him. Thank you for joining us. We hope you found the episode helpful. Don't forget, most of these episodes are also available as videos on our video channel, cdvideo.org. So head over and take a look. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions, please get in touch or leave us a voice message. We love to hear your feedback. You can email us at bt f at cdvideo.org If you enjoyed the episode, then please share it with others. Until next time, may God bless you in your studies and your walk towards God's kingdom. Amen.